Hello to everyone. I became uh, from the University of Maribor, uh, Faculty of Civil Engineering, Transportation Engineering and Architecture. And uh, I will present uh, our uh, contribution to this conference entitled uh, Acquiring uh, Digital Competences for Construction Project Management. Um, excuse me, <laughs> okay. Uh, we all know that um, the construction industry is currently uh, in transformation. Uh, in this transformation is uh, much more obvious in construction project management, um, which is led by BIM and Industry 4.0. And um, the major uh, challenge in today's uh, construction industry uh, is to transform uh, the basic and traditional business models that uh, were uh, material centric uh, to modern and intellectual business models that uh, are uh, digital or uh, data and information driven. And as said, all these advanced technologies are gradually being introduced into the construction project management uh, in whole area of this um, project management in construction and uh, in the whole life cycle of the facility. And uh, in this light, uh, we must be aware that the, our future engineers must be equipped with proper digital skills. And like as well, um, on the world, uh, also to our, our uh, universities uh, in Slovenia that um, educate uh, civil engineers um, do this uh, transformation or adopted our curriculum to equip students with di these digital skills. Um, usually the, we can use two ways to do this. Uh, to add, uh, one is to add new BIM courses or to integrate uh, BIM and uh, these uh, modern technologies uh, topics into the various courses. Various courses. Uh, from the teaching uh, strategic, strategical perspective, we have also two different teaching approaches that is effective uh, to gaining these digital skills. This is uh, team-based learning and project-based learning. Uh, in f next few minutes, I will try to explain our uh, experience in um, acquiring formal and non-formal uh, digital competences at our faculty. Um, we have since uh, academic year 2015-16 uh, uh, a standalone uh, BIM subject uh, introduced or offering for our students and it is on the second level of student program. This is um, uh, of civil engineering and also we have one study program industrial engineering. Um, and. Uh, all these significant benefits, which is important for construction project management, was recognized uh, from teacher of our chair uh, of construction management technology and economics. So we, for almost 10 years, introduced topics of BIM uh, and Industry 4.0 in, in last few years uh, in, uh, in uh, several courses. Uh, and uh, here is a scheme of these courses uh, in different levels or degrees. Uh, and also uh, we try to divide them to the uh, courses that where we teach about BIM approach and uh, where we teach about Industry 4.0 um, uh, methods. Um, is there uh, one subjects are elective or it, one of them are in the model of study program? Um, I will mention this uh, subject uh, uh, now. Uh, first of this is um, 
uh, this formal uh, education of digital, com digital competencies uh, through the study process is um, integrated. Uh, I will explain how we integrate uh, BIM-based approach into the, our process uh, already um, in study academic year 2015-16. Uh, uh, we introduce in uh, subject project uh, management in construction. It, it is in second degree study program. Uh, these uh, topics and uh, during the um, tutorial and computer works um, uh, exercises, uh, students uh, create 4D and 5D BIM models. Uh, the, their uh, group, normally a group of, of three, and um, we, uh, the student, uh, first uh, analyzed the uh, basic 3D BIM models uh, model uh, and uh, assigned elements. Uh, dimensions and everything and materials and then they use Wiko Office software to create 4D and 5D BIM uh, models and, and the, at, the, at the end of the semester uh, uh, they do the, the final presentation each year. Um, maybe a few words how we introduce uh, also past few years uh, methods and technologies of construction uh, 4.0 uh, in recent years, uh, students become familiar with construction 4.0 and acquire individual knowledge uh, and practical skills. And uh, in this uh, three uh, subjects, uh, we introduce uh, this um, in construction 4.0 while students during uh, the study process um, working with 3D laser scanner and using methods uh, of, of collecting um, point cloud data. Uh, these uh, subjects are safety at construction work. This is in professional study program and in uh, two subjects, special arran arrangement and advanced planning as well as maintenance and re rehabilitation of structures. Both are in uh, second degree. Uh, a few hours is also intended to, uh, for students to work with mixed reality, as is also the, the feature here, how the student use this mixed um, reality. Uh, we also encourage our students to particip participate in various events and uh, with this they acquire uh, so-called non-formal uh, digital competencies. Um, these events are different professional events, uh, participation in conferences, vis visiting uh, trade fairs or uh, also we do with the students different excursions or side visits. visits. Um, maybe I will highlight um, this um, participation in a BIM World mini conference uh, where we uh, go together with uh, around 40 students. Uh, and um, we also have uh, excursion on second uh, uh, track uh, Divacha Copa railway line. This is the biggest uh, construction site in Slovenia now and uh, the contractor is obligated to use a BIM approach. Um, and uh, we also want to highlight activities that we do at our faculty uh, of uh, as called lifelong learning. Um, uh, since 2022, we are official training uh, center uh, for BSI professional certification program. We offer a um, course uh, that, um, which is twice a year and it lasts, lasts for a few days and uh, uh, participant where all participants who finish or conclude this course uh, can take uh, an exam to obtain a building part professional certificate and we uh, one of this uh, lifelong learning activity is also um, participating in a pilot project with this uh, undergoing at our faculty uh, and uh, our university excuse me and in our faculty this is 
called Platform 540, and it will last, uh, um, and uh, the finish of this project will be in year 25. And we have two big aims. Uh, first is to identify knowledge and skills uh, for sustainable development and digitalization. This will be uh, important when we will um, uh, renovate the first level study program. And the second aim is to create models for lifelong learning for professionals. And uh, when this professional uh, finish this model, they will get so, so named uh, micro certificates. And what have we learned uh, so far? Uh, one, maybe I can uh, expose this uh, course evaluation survey that is made uh, anonymously by students at the end of the semester or end of the subject. Uh, and uh, after analyzing uh, this survey, we find out that the teachers who uh, educate uh, or learn about the BIM and Industry 4.0 uh, have grades above average at 1.66, what is, we believe, very good. And uh, we also do our self-evaluation, and these are just main findings that working with BIM is um, it's good for them that uh, they better understand the entire construction process. Uh, we believe that interdisciplinary teamwork help students to collaborate, uh, to develop collaboration and problem solving skills. skills. We also find out that we need a new computer classroom. And, uh, and as I already mentioned, and as part of renovation of first level study program, we find out that uh, for standalone BIM course should be implemented already in the first level as with BIM concept and specific um, knowledge. Uh, so for the conclusion, what can we say? Today's development requires rapid adaptation of our curriculum at the universities and uh, construction project management needs to integrate uh, BIM and Industry 4.0 into our curriculum, into study programs. And um, I give you some overview how we do it uh, at our faculty. And uh, also two examples of uh, lifelong learning, uh, these activities that are also I think important for the practice uh, or for future engineers and also for the practice and for, for, for the last word, I can say that the, the teaching is really an iterative process where we always learn something new. So thank you.